hello, hello. Welcome to the Peter Parker Show. Welcome back, guys. Sorry for the wind and the noise. Right in uh, with Tom Suzuki. He's in the back. I don't know if you can see the screen, but he's back there. We're gonna test out the range that we have. And uh, we're gonna go all the way from West LA to downtown and back. Should be a little bit over 30 miles. Should be about 35 miles, maybe even more. So we're gonna try to max out the range. See how far we can go with these two batteries. I've always wanted to do long, long rides with the bike, but always been afraid of it because of the, you know, the range anxiety. So, fortunately now, don't have to worry about that as much. And I want to take full advantage of that and just, you know, enjoy it. Oh, I think I, oh, no, he's right. I thought I, I, thought I lost Tom in that uh, stoplight. Um, had a couple friends get hit by cars lately, not on e-bikes, but on actually on the street, uh, just like walking on the street, and uh, I'm not going to go into detail, I'm not going to say who it is, but uh, some, some close people to me have gone hurt by cars lately. So it's kind of discouraged me to ride a little bit. I've, I've been a little bit afraid to ride. Um, even though it wasn't really on a bike, it was like in a car or just walking. Walking on the sidewalk. So I, I'm afraid, uh, you know, I'm afraid to get into an accident with the bike. I really don't want that. So we're gonna just uh, have some positive vibes. We're gonna be extra careful, extra crispy on the road and just be careful you know and uh, I also like riding with two people because I always feel like if something happens to one of us we have the other person that has our back so if something happened to Tom I have his back and vice versa this was the bump where I went uh, right here and my battery popped off because I didn't lock it properly so this is where I pulled over to fix it not a fun experience not a fun experience but luckily I learned from that mistake and locked the bike properly now I don't have to worry about that anymore so be careful nobody turns in front of me here super risky I love to get hit by a flag on the bike lane. I had to like swerve out of the way because like the, the flag was in the way. <laughs> usually, usually they're, they don't like when they see you, they don't pull away, but she actually pulled away the flag. So that was nice. But last time there was a rally on the, on the other side, they just, they just waved the flags right in front of me. I'm like, bro, I'm on the, I'm on the bike lane. What are you doing? All right, let's hit the top speed. Oh, we're going 33 miles per hour. Oh my God, that's a record, guys. 33 top speed? Holy shit, man. That's amazing. Can you guys see that? I'm going 33 miles per hour right now. Wow. Usually it's like 31, but today, today I'm going 33. Pretty amazing. <laughs> Go 
Look at that, 32, 33. Wow, that's awesome. Wow, I'm going so fast. Look guys, 33 miles is fast enough. I don't, I don't need to go any faster than this. I'm honestly happy that I'm going 33. I never go 33. My shell can go up to 34 on a full charge. And I can never do that, of course, because I'm like 150 pounds more heavy than she is. But I'm, I'm just happy I can go over 31, honestly. Oh, yeah, why not? Just right in front of me, please. On her phone. Anyway, how's everybody doing today? How's uh, how's the new ZX? Have you guys gotten your ZX yet? I know a couple people have gone there. There's, uh, I think, uh, EV Rider. Okay. Uh, EV Rider, um, Chris, Cyber Films, and um, Rad, Rad City Berlin got his uh, ZX. Let me know, guys, if you got yours and how do you like it? If it's if it's worth the buy, what do you think of the bike so far? Thought about getting it, but wasn't really sure about the suspension. I feel like if the if the ZX has suspension, I would definitely gotten it because I like to have a a smaller bike with suspension. Because otherwise, it's just kind of like a smaller S2, um, which is fine. But I already have an S2, so I didn't have a need for it. Unlike um, like Rad City Berlin where he has an RX so he uh, he can kind of switch with you know both styles the suspension and the no suspension but once you get that suspension is when you have a bike with no suspension you just you that's the first thing you notice immediately is you got no suspension but when you have a bike with no suspension and uh, you ride another bike with no suspension it doesn't feel that bad it just feels like oh it's just another it's another bike, you know? And to be fair, I've had... All my bikes have had no suspension. Uh, never had any rear suspension ever in my bikes. I'm used to, like, uh, just basically uh, standing on the pedals for... Uh, for, uh, for big bumps. Hollywood Tours. And Hollywood Tours. Fun fact about the Hollywood tours, when uh, when they travel through uh, Beverly Hills and they start bugging people like famous people or rich people, what they do is they call the cops on the tours and they uh, and the cops give them a ticket for excess, excessive weight uh, because they're not allowed to have that many people on the on those uh, like I guess vans or trucks so they there's a loophole where they get a ticket for having too many an excessive weight limit which I think is kind of funny that that's like the only way they can stop them from uh, uh, from you know from cruising around Beverly Hills Right, it feels kind of nice, honestly. It's been really hot in LA. We've been having uh, about 82, 82, 83 degree weather. It gets worse uh, towards downtown because there's a lot, a lot, a lot of buildings and uh, not a lot of shade, not a lot of trees. So uh, the whole, basically the whole city absorbs the sun and it becomes one giant frying pan down there. But on the west side, there's there's more breeze, there's more, uh, you know, there's more trees. So it's a little bit nicer to, uh, you know, the weather feels a lot nicer on the west side than downtown. Downtown just feels so hot every time, all the time. All right, we're gonna turn right here. All right, finally some shade, some good shade. <laughs> I feel like my uh, my horn is uh, busted. 
it's making a it's making the sound but it sounds kind of like um i don't know it sounds weird i gotta check that Oh, the shade feels so nice. I'm wearing no black to be fair. I shouldn't be wearing no black, but I'm wearing no black right now and it's not helping. You gotta go a little bit faster, bro. Wow, that was really strange. He was going super slow and then he went super fast. Oh my god, what the f This guy went over a stop sign. Dope. Dope, dope. Awesome. Love that. Almost got into an accident there. Oh my god, this guy's driving like shit, bro. Oh my god, what the f*** is going on? That was, um, that was strange. I hope you guys saw that on camera. How you guys been? I'm, I've missed talking to you guys. I haven't been doing as many, um, as many videos. I've been doing one, one video a week. Been really busy with work. But I finally have enough enough income from uh from youtube to let go of my other job not work as much there and do more youtube so looks like we're gonna spend more time with each other and i'm gonna start doing more uh more videos for you guys so i'm looking forward to that i'm very excited about that and i honestly cannot wait to uh spend more time with you guys and do more group rides it'll be lots of fun what's up dog you guys haven't seen much of Tom today because he's in from like behind me. Oh, those are electric bikes. Or no. Yeah, I think they're electric bikes. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome. I didn't even know they had a, they had a place here. I wonder if they have the Sondors. I want to I wanna try that bike. Have you heard of it, Tom? It's like a super cool motorcycle that goes I think it has 85 miles range and it goes 80 miles per hour yeah yeah 80 miles per hour um, 85 85 miles range which is honestly a little bit a little bit shorter than I thought it would be but I guess if, if you're going 80 miles per hour you kind of have to cap the uh, the range a little bit because the power is just too strong but I wonder if you just ride it like 30 miles per hour 40 miles per hour I wonder if, it, if the range would go higher than 80 miles it'd be basically basically be like a like a regular motorcycle if you think about it all right we're doing good we still have 33 33 miles which is way more than 33 but it's it's not even half of a half of a quarter yet it's like it's much lower than i thought we only been riding for like uh seven miles maybe seven miles yeah not too bad we're doing really good on range oh uh, what's your what's your battery tom 90 yeah i'm i'm at 92 90 percent. i would say this is 90 percent right now i have 90 percent battery left I know what you guys are gonna say, you go over stop signs all the time. But there's California law that says that you can go over the stop sign if there are no incoming cars, if you're a bicycle. So chill out on the comments guys. I'm gonna go around these cars here. Because they all wanna get Starbucks. And I'm not getting Starbucks, so. You want to go to Sturbrooks? <laughs> Sturbrooks? To be fair, it is a cool, uh, it is a cool Starbucks. It looks like a 19... Like yeah, I think it's like, I think it's new though. I don't think it's uh, an old diner. I think they made it look like an old diner. I love the sentiment though. 1950s diners. Those are my favorites. There are not a lot of diners in LA. Uh, there's like, there used to be a lot more, but with COVID, they all disappeared for obvious reasons but 
we had we had a, a few cool diners um, in LA, but nothing like in the Midwest or in the South. Like those diners are cool, man. They've been there for years, years since like the 40s, the 50s. Really cool diners. We've never had anything like that here in LA. But because LA is not that old, LA I think is only been here since the 30s. I think this used to be old desert. And then in the 30s, there was uh, people moving in from the east and the south. And then eventually, it, I mean, it became what it is today, a big city. But back in the day, before Hollywood was a thing, uh, it was just the middle of the desert, really. Like, nothing out here. No diners. No Hollywood. No movies. Just a bunch of real estate. Which is where uh, Hollywood land comes from. Which was a big uh, propaganda um, sign. That they, they, uh, they put on the hill to sell more houses. And it said Hollywood land. And then eventually it became a landmark. And now it's just... They took out the land and now it's just Hollywood. Ironic. Ironic that that's the most, that's the oldest, um, the oldest landmark of LA is a, like a 1950s, 1940s uh, real estate propaganda sign. I'm not hating, I'm not hating. I'm just saying it's funny how that's just like the oldest thing we have in LA is the Hollywood sign. It's really not that old. Hollywood sign. Let's see what the top speed is now. 29, 30, 31, 32. Oh, 32. Wow. Maybe I didn't charge my batteries all weight when I was uh, testing it in LA Eastgate. Maybe now that I, I charged it, um, like actually properly charged it. It's going all the way up to 33 miles. My top speed. My top speed is 33 now. My top speed is 33 miles. Yeah, I think that. I think the battery like uh, kicked the juice up a little bit, and now it's 33. Because when I was in LA Eastgate, it was 31, but now it's just like 33. You know what? That's true. That's true. You might, you might be right about that. Which which is kind of sketchy now that I think about it. <laughs> Man, I one thing I do wish I had on this bike is better torque. I have, you know, I have good range now. I have a great looking bike. Uh, good tires. I got a lot of safety safety features. But I, I just need the torque, man. I really need that torque. Really, really want Super 73 to update that torque. Because sometimes you just you just need that little boost uh, when you're taking off. Oh, is that a Super 73? Oh, no, it's just an e-bike. Regular e-bike. Oh, it's a Suron. No, 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 that's a Suron. Wow, that guy's riding a Suron with no helmet, no pads. That guy... It's got a death wish, for sure, dude. Wow, that's crazy, dude. I know, like, I can see riding a, a juice bike or a Super 73 with no helmet, but a uh, Suron with no helmet is a death wish. Yeah. Dangerous, man. Guys, remember to always wear a helmet. Do not, do not uh, think that not wearing a helmet is cool. Because wearing a helmet is going to save your life. You got to wear a helmet, guys. Not only the law, but it's just for your safety, man. You don't want to fall on, on concrete ground. Going 30, 40, 50 miles per hour and just land your head on the ground. You do not want that to happen. Please wear a helmet, guys. With peace and love. Be safe out there. Oh, Thomas Fox.
far, man. I think Tom is having a hard time uh, keeping up with me. Maybe because he only has one battery connected. This is a really, really sketchy area to ride your bike. Oh, there's another sir on this past bike. But this guy was actually wearing a helmet and, and gear, so, which is smart. But yeah, I was, I was saying this is a sketchy area to ride your bike on. I don't like riding this route, but it is the fastest way to get to downtown. Famous uh, Silver Lake Sunset Junction, aka the uh, gentrification of Silver Lake. Lots of, uh, oh, this guy's gonna go over red? Okay, I was gonna say, we're gonna go over red light, man. Ah, oh, this is the part that sucks. Really careful, this is where the doors swing open. The doors swing open, people walking on the, on the bike lane, and uh, the buses just stop right in front of you. I'm gonna wear my helmet, visor. Gotta be really careful. Paintbrushes in the middle of the bike lane. That just screams Silver Lake right there. Whoa, that guy was close to me. Bike lane. This is a bumpy road, man. Ah, uh, yes. Right in front of the bike lane, please. Right in front of it, please. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Peace and love to you. Is Tom okay? Tom is okay, yeah, we're good. Making sure he's made it alive. Good thing we're in the bike lane. Right, that bike or that bus got my back here. It's good. I'm gonna make a well. Oh, let's make it right here. Let's go to the Echo Park. Ah, good old Echo Park. It's open now, I believe. Then we can hang out, see what it looks like. All right, so we went all the way from home to uh, Echo Park, uh, which is 12 miles. And we're not even a quarter, uh, a quarter yet in the battery. Not even a quarter yet. We just did 12 miles. Pretty cool, man. That's 
awesome. And it looks like we have, according to this, we still have 78% battery, 52 volts left. Wow, that's impressive. 70, I'm at 78%, how about you? The first battery. How much? 60 on the first battery. You got 60%? Oh, wow. Tom has 60% on one battery. He's not even using two, he's just using one. And he got 60% left. Amazing. I guess this is the entrance. Wow, they really cleaned up uh, Echo Park, man. Looks beautiful. Uh, I shot a movie here once. My first movie in LA. Uh, this is a place where a lot of hipsters uh, hang out. And um, they call it the Hipster Beach because they all hang out in that uh, on this little hill here and they sunbathe right in front of the uh, the Echo Park Lake. I, th I think it's hilarious to be honest, but um, if you live here, I mean, it makes sense to, you know, this is your beach. But it's honestly kind of funny to see that. Just taking it really slowly, not trying to um, scare anybody or upset anybody. We're just riding, riding our bikes. That's all we're doing. It's cool. There's a lot of people here. And there's a uh, boat rentals are actually open this time. They usually were closed for a long time because of COVID, but. Now they're just uh, full capacity. Kind of cool. There's a lot of them actually. Usually there used to be just one or two, but now there's like dozens of them, dozens of uh, boats on the lake. It's kind of cool. Kind of want to ride that. I, b I believe you just pedal it like a bike to get to places. Got this girl not looking. Gotta look where you're going, girl. Peace and love. Gotta look where you're going. That's how you get hit by cars, if you're just looking down on your board. But it's good that she's practicing on the sidewalk here. Not on the actual road. Yeah, this is, this is beautiful, man. They really cleaned up the place, huh? It looks unrecognizable. Because last time I was here, it was full of tents, full of homeless, full of needles, full of trash. It was it was a bad place. It was like um, it was becoming the new Westlake, which is uh, you know notorious for being a place full of crime and and um, poverty. Not a good place to be, really. It's uh, honestly kind of sad, but it looks like they cleaned up the place pretty well. It looks really nice. All right, now I gotta see where the hell do we go. Let's see if we can make this light. Yeah, we can make this light. I think there's a bike lane here too, right? Maybe not. I guess there's no bike lane. I, I could have sworn there was a bike lane here. Filipino town? I had no idea there was a Filipino town in, uh, in LA. Weird. That's crazy. No idea there was a Filipino town. Huh. Now I know. That, make, that makes sense because uh, when I used to live in Koreatown, I had a lot of Filipino friends. And uh, Filipino town is really close by to Koreatown, apparently, so that's probably why. Interesting. 
shout out to my Filipino fans out there. Looks like we're good here. Oh yeah, we're we're entering downtown. This is a new route. I've never been through here before. Got these, uh, they have these like electric cars now. They, you can charge, um, you can rent them. You can rent them and charge them. Kind of like uh, like the bike ones, like just like your city bikes you can rent, but they have them for electric cars. It's kind of cool. Uh, now we got a bike lane here. It's good. There's a lot of debris on the road though. It's kind of sketchy. Don't like that, but got no other way to get to get through this but this way so and good thing I have really nice tires too always brag about these tires I really love them great tires well, let's go through the tunnel hell yeah this is cool man I haven't been in this tunnel in forever oh this is so cool Shoot a, they shot a bunch of movies here in this tunnel. So I believe they shot Blade Runner here and they shot um, just a bunch of movies. Really cool. This is the first time I've gone through it with a bike. Wow, super cool, man. That was, that was awesome. It was also very cool in there. Like, uh, temperature-wise, it was very cool. That was awesome, dude. <laughs> I haven't done that in forever. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, that was so creepy. <laughs> okay, so bike lane ends here. Okay, so we just turn here, I'm guessing. And I think we turn left here, I believe. That's the good thing about downtown is that there's a lot of bike lanes and it's very bike friendly for the most part at least. But look at that, we're here. We're here. We made it. We're going to grab some food here, Tom and I, and uh, we'll be right back. Wow, look at these scooters. They've seen better days. Hey, that's my U-lock right there. Literally my same, the same U-lock, just a little bit shorter. One winner later. Yeah, so we're here downtown LA still. Gonna grab some, uh, some stuff from little Tokyo. We're gonna go on the bike lane here. It's a little bit safer. I love the downtown's, um, downtown's bike system is not too bad, it's actually pretty decent. The problem is the drivers here drive a little too crazily, so, okay, I, make, I can make a left here, can I? No. This is the weird part about downtown is everything's a maze. You can only go in certain directions, you can't make certain turns in certain places. Everything's a one-way street, very strange. another e-bike there. It almost looks like a scooty. It's kind of like a scooter, I guess. Ah, look at this girl. She's so pink. If the, uh, if the dictionary had the word pink, I mean, it does have the word pink, but the 
if there's a picture in the dictionary with the word pink, it would be that girl. I think we're entering, uh, I think we're entering Skid Row here. Very, very uh, infamous for having a lot of poverty, a lot of drug use, a lot of bad, bad stuff. So we're gonna try to squeeze by out of Skid Row here. You can smell the, you can actually smell the urine in the streets. It's pretty bad. Um, it's not a good area to be in, but this is the reality, unfortunately, of the place. I'm gonna try to make a left here. Let's make a left here. Let's get out of this, uh, let's get out of this area. The weird part about uh, Skid Row is that it's extremely close to uh, Little Tokyo, actually. Very, very, very close to it. I mean, it's only a few blocks away, really. That's the weird part about it. So, I don't know why LA just refuses to clean up and to uh, fix the issues in Skid Row, but that's a topic for another time. Or maybe for another channel, to be honest with you guys. Okay, we're entering uh, Little Tokyo here. I was just saying how close uh, Skid Row is to Little Tokyo. A lot of people don't know how close to uh, everything Skid Row is yeah. downtown. Yeah, and it's a giant block too. It's a huge block that takes most of downtown, actually. The fire department here. Skid Row. Los Angeles Fire Department. I didn't even know they had their own uh, Skid Row Fire Department. Huh. You see that, huh? It says Skid Row. Skid Row. Interesting. Must be working all the time. Uh, everything's closed. Bummer. sucks. Japanese Village Plaza. It is full of people too. Packed with people. Do you want to get some boba here? Oh, you want to go here? Okay. Let's check it out. Much, much, much later. All right, we just got a, we just got some coffee. Pretty late for coffee, but I'm gonna go watch a movie later tonight at midnight. So I'm gonna need that little boost. And uh, yeah, we're gonna ride all the back, all the way back home. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff going on up here, debris and shit. I'm sure. Must be like some cart homeless person was. There's a bunch of debris, yeah. Bike on here. Okay, so. I think maybe it says road close up ahead. One miles. Top speed, thirty one miles. Not as cool as the other tunnel, not as cool as the other tunnel, but still, I'll take it. That was fun. Any tunnel is a cool tunnel. 
I believe this is the highway, so we want to avoid being on the highway. And just past these guys over here. I think if we make a left here, I think we should be good. This is the tunnel we just went through earlier, so. Um, yeah, this is what we have right here. I heard some explosions. Hopefully that's not a shoot-in. Last time Tom and I heard an explosion, apparently there was a, sh a shoot-in. Uh, we thought it was fireworks, but it was actually uh, somebody shot a gun. Remember that one time we heard a firework and it was a gun? <laughs> Fun times. All right, up here. I think it's a right here. I'm going all off of memory, to be honest. Lane split here. looks very different at night so I'm really good at directions by memory but when it when it gets nighttime I completely let, lose my sense of uh, direction for some reason I didn't catch it on camera but he was tailgating me and Tom and then he turned way too close to us just now, just way, way too close to us. Super dangerous. Probably do it on purpose. Get a reaction out of us. Yo, was it me or, or was that guy was just way too close to us? Yeah. That's what I thought. He's also looking at us right now, so. Oh, didn't even see the green light. It's better, I want to, I want Tom to take the lead anyway. Like, I want him to be on camera. I'm, I am afraid though that a car will open the door on him, so. Wait. Love that when that happens. <laughs> Smoking a fucking cigarette, looking at this rear view mirror. Fucking ass, dude. Some fucking guy, dude. You see it? I want you to take the lead. <laughs> Tom, take the lead. <laughs> he doesn't want me to take the lead. <laughs> it's okay, because if something happens, it'll happen to me.
70% went to 30. That's pretty good still though. That's really good for 70%. Not gonna lie. One eternity later. All right guys, so we made it back home. I have 42% left on the battery. Uh, and we're gonna stop this real quick and see what it looks like. So we ended the ride with 42% and we have about 48 volts left, which is not bad actually, it's pretty good. For how many miles did we do, Tom? 35. For 35 miles, we did 35 miles and we have 42%, which I think is pretty amazing, honestly. We went through a lot of hills, uh, went through a lot of you know, busy areas and um, Especially the hills, I was impressed of how well the bike performed going up hills. Uh, I want to see if I recorded the, uh, the ride. So according to this, um, we did 19.7 miles plus 12, which I forgot to hit. But I think that equals about 32 miles. But I think it was round up to 35 miles what we did. Um, I, I think I trust Tom's app better than this a little bit more. So we did 35 miles. Uh, we went max speed 33 miles. You can see that. Uh, usually when I do max speed is not 33 miles. It's 31 miles is my top speed. And yeah, I think that was pretty amazing. Um, turn off both batteries. So I just wanted to show you guys to make sure to turn off both batteries. You have to, uh, unlike when you turn it on, which is you turn on the stock battery and then you turn on the, the Shy battery or the Ranger GT. But when you turn it off, what you have to do is you have to do the opposite. You have to turn off the Shy battery first and then you turn off the stock battery. So now that we know how much uh, percentage we have, I wanted to see what uh, Tom's bike looked like. Uh, with both batteries and it looks like he doesn't have a percentage but uh, it looks like it's about the same looks like it's about 40% uh, what do you think 45 42% like that, 45. that looks about a little bit below halfway um, so I would say maybe 42% 45% so pretty pretty amazing how they're both very equal and similar to uh, you know the range so just wanted to show you guys that Tom's bike and my bike are very similar with both batteries and um, honestly something that was cool about my bike today is that it went up to 33 miles uh, with over 200 pounds which is unheard of for a Super 73 to do that so just wanted to give you guys uh, a nice little um, outro of the specs of how we ended the ride so yeah I think we're just going to call it a day Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. It helps me be bigger, stronger, faster. If you guys want a Super 73 of any model, any kind, there's a link down in the description below for 100 bucks off. And if you guys want to get a Ranger like mine or a Ranger GT, uh, I have a code for 50 bucks off. Uh, use code Peter Parker, and it will save you 50, by, 50 bucks on any Ranger, Ranger GT. And it helps the channel out a lot. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.